Mark Expect the Comics, and I'm back. If you're interested in seeing what's in this big box, stick around. All right, so I'm back. So, like I said before, this is uh, my favorite unboxing of the month that I look forward to. It's, of course, my beer and comics. So uh, this actually just came in today. So I'm really excited to open it up. Um, I got, like I said, my uh, unboxing and then I'm going to show some recent pickups for comics. So uh, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Make sure you get that bell notification on. I do have my uh, road to 500 subscribers still ongoing. Um, I know in previous uh, previous video I said that it would end around I think it was December 24th but when I recently checked I'm still at 477 or 478 subscribers so I got a little bit more work to go so I'm gonna extend the uh, road to 500 until of course I hit the 500 because uh, what's a subscriber contest if you don't actually get to it so uh, Keep on, we'll keep on going on with the uh, contest, and uh, like I said, I'm in no rush. I thought I would have been there by uh, end of uh, December, but that hasn't been the case, so that's okay. No big deal, like I said. Um, the contest will still be there. The uh, prizes will still be there, and uh, once we get there, it's going to be awesome. So uh, thanks, everyone, for the support and uh, for the continued support, and for anyone who uh, newly subscribes. Welcome to the channel. So, uh, like I said, beer and comics. Uh, what am I drinking today? Actually, it's my favorite beer of the season. I'm drinking uh, Trades or Trogues Mad Elf. It's a brewery out of Pennsylvania. I want to say it's from, uh, yeah, from Pennsylvania. Pretty, uh, it's an ale brewed with honey and cherries, and they only brew it once a year <laughs> like they do with m most beers um pretty strong what it says yeah 11 percent so uh pretty strong beer has a nice ruby red color <sighs> man that's delicious so back to the uh unboxing like i said big box um, already opened it up just to save some time because I do the editing and have to fast forward it. It's just more work on my part. <laughs> but I haven't seen the beers yet, so I've only uh, opened up the box. So like with previous boxes, you get two different breweries, micro breweries from um, anywhere in the country. You get two beers from that micro brewery, and it can be anything from like this like an ale to a porter stout you know belgian style what have you so i'll show these uh, real quick we'll do one brewery first open uh show some books because we all want to see some comics of course and then we'll go back to the last few all right so all right what do we got here Oh, there we go. It just said Belgian. So we got, uh, let's see, let's see. Got some pamphlets here. So this one is, <laughs> it's called Lucifer Belgian Ale, brewed by Het Anchor. Interesting label. Uh, never heard of this beer. It's from, let's see. Wedden Importers, Inc., Sterling, Virginia. There you go. Interesting. It's uh, 8%. All right, so it's going to be pretty strong for an ale. Um, all right. So that's the first beer. Second beer is from... Oh, actually, I think I recently got this beer from the Diamond Beer Brewing Company, the Southern Blonde Ale. 
There you go. I, I remember getting this brewery. So this is a, this is the first time I got a repeat, which I'm really surprised. I didn't think I was going to ever get that. So uh, blonde ale, it's going to be really light beer, 4% by uh, volume. So uh, I've had this. This wasn't bad, but it's a blonde ale. It's a light beer. So um, I'll put these aside and uh, I'll show off some books, right? Because we want to see some books. All right. So um, I got a nice little short box. I'm not going to show all the books because uh, that'll take a while. Some of the books I picked up recently, some of the books I got within the last month or so. Just going to different comic shops in the Rhode Island, Massachusetts area. Um, I don't remember where exactly I got some of these books, but I'm going to show them off. And um, if there's uh, anything key about them, I'll uh, point them out. All right. So, um, got a nice little stack here. Actually, I think I got these books from, I want to say... This was from the Rubber Chicken uh, comic shop in Bellingham, Massachusetts. This was not too far away from, uh, I believe, Rayman. But um, they had a nice little sale going on there. And um, I've mentioned previously, one of my 2021 goals is to complete the first Moon Knight run. So I picked up a bunch of books there recently. I think all most of them were like between three to five bucks a piece. But... Um, this is my second copy. This is not from the original Moon Knight. This is from the uh, Warren Ellis, uh, Declan Shalby run. This is um, Moon Knight issue number one. And uh, what's cool about this, you know, these little borders are usually for different printings. This is actually the third printing, which is, I, I didn't even know they had a third printing for this book. I know it was a, a very popular run, it was a very good story. Um, I've always had the first print, so uh, I didn't know they had a third print. So, really cool. If you find this, five bucks or less, pick this up. Very low print run. All right, so uh, going on to the original Moon Knight run, which I was talking about. This is Moon Knight, this is early. Moon Knight issue number three, first appearance of Midnight. They got a really cool, uh, this is a nice uh, Bill S cover, and uh, you can see uh, Midnight here, which is the uh, the villain. Little bit of spec on this character, who knows, but you got really cool, it's like fighting in the, uh, I don't know, like a gallery or something. You got uh, the picture of the Mona Lisa back there, pretty cool cover. And you got the uh, clock there at the bottom, Midnight means murder. <laughs> That's uh, Early Moon Knight. These are going to be all Early Moon Knight books because I've been trying to fill the early part. Moon Knight issue number four. Another Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Uh, Moon Knight issue number five. And it has this really cool, you can see it on there, date stamp. Uh, let's see, Moon Knight issue number six. This is a great cover. This is, um, you can tell this is a painted cover just from the way it's, uh, it's shown on there. Very different from the previous two I've shown. Um, Moon Knight issue number seven. It's cold and barren here and he cannot fight them. Uh, direct edition. As you can see, some of these will be direct, some of these will be uh, newsstand. We know from uh, previous videos that uh, early 80s, the direct is much more uh, sought after than the newsstand because it's lower print. Uh, Moon Knight issue number nine. Like I said, some of these, they're not really key. They're just, this is just filler books. Great books to read. This one says, one minute ago, Moon Knight was destroyed. And he doesn't know it yet. <laughs> All right. Uh, issue number 10. The fight continues, but it is already lost. And you can see uh, Khonshu there in the bottom. 
and issue number 11 this has like a cool little uh new orleans theme through it you know because it's uh see all the party hats it says mardi gras here a little fun cover having a good time down south um this is actually a really nice bill s cover issue number 21 gotta like the contrast there just a little bit of uh, color there with the yellows. Otherwise, it's a nice black and white cover. And um, this is issue number 33. This is getting towards the end of the run. The run goes to 38 issues. So you're getting sucked up into the uh, typewriter there. <laughs> you can tell this has like an 80s team, uh, theme to it. You got the... Well, it looks like a checkerboard there in the bottom. I don't know if that's tiles or whatnot, but you can tell you can tell its age. And this is a real fun uh, uh, spec book for uh, Moon Knight slash Black Panther collectors. This is Black Panther issue number twenty-two for the life of the Panther. So this is nothing really key it's just a crossover so it's basically the same uh, it's a black panther moon knight team up and these early team ups are uh i got a feeling they're gonna be sought after you know going forward and it's uh written by christopher priest which i met last year really nice guy at uh, rhode island comic-con so that's a little stack of books there i'm gonna have a little sip of beer hopefully you're enjoying this if you are Feel free to hit that thumbs up. And as a thanks, I'm going to throw this little uh, uh, key book in here to my Road to 500 Subscribers contest. This is Master of Kung Fu, issue number 98. In the comments below, I can give you one additional entry to the uh, first person who answers in the comments and I acknowledge them. What is key about this book? Master of Kung Fu, issue number 98. All right. So let's get back to the second part of the beers. Got two more beers to open up. Well, not open up, but show you. So uh, next beer. This is from Diamond Beer Brewing. I did have this beer previously. Actually, I think I still have one or two left in the, uh, in the fridge. <laughs> this is Pig Trail Porter. This was actually a really good beer. Uh, I did uh, like this beer more than the uh, Southern Blonde. Uh, I, I don't know. Lately, I've been getting more into the um, the porters and the stouts, more so than like the light ales. And um, I do like IPAs. IPAs have definitely been growing on me. Um, let me know in the comments below as well, too. What kind of beers do you like to drink? So this one, if I remember correctly, what's the alcohol content? And uh, this, this brewery is based out of Arkansas, if you got the name of it, Diamond Beer Brewing. Um, Arkansas is known as the Diamond State, so it's a nice little uh, added thing on there if you did not know. Um, can't see what it is. Anyways, moving on. And the last beer, this is Syrup Brewery. So I'm going to butcher this name real quick. Castellan Unpasteurized. It's a big, tall can. <laughs> Not the easiest thing to pronounce it. I'm usually pretty good. I guess that's Castellan Unpasteurized um, Syrup Brewery. Interesting looking label. This is, uh, let's see. Five. Oh, 5.4% from markets. Oh, Everett, Massachusetts. Oh, actually, this is local. All right, cool. I've never heard of this brewery. Um, there's a lot of microbreweries in New England. Never heard of this one. So, uh, oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. It's not local. <laughs> See, even I, even I fumble it sometimes. Uh, it's Polish. It's brewed and canned in Poland, imported 
through Everett, Massachusetts. So my bad on that one. So uh, Polish beer. So this is the first time I got an international beer on here from the uh, the uh, monthly brew club. So uh, that's pretty cool. I always thought it was domestic beers. So interesting. So I'm, I'm pretty uh, excited to try this one out. So those were the, uh, the four beers. Two of them I had previously. Those other two are brand new. So that's exciting. All right, let's show off some more books. And then we'll call this one a wrap. All right. So I'll show off a few more books. And I'll call it at that. Um, this book, I think these books I got at um, a shop in Warren, Rhode Island. So I got the name of it off the top of my head. But um, I spent a little bit of time there. I want to say about, I don't know, this was like four or five weeks ago. I just haven't had time to show the books. But this is a fun book I had not previously seen in the wild. But the guy had it there for a good price. I want to say paid 25 $30 for it. I, I don't remember exactly, but this is Holf number one and it's in great condition. Um, very nice condition. So uh, first appearance of your Red Hulk, which has some ties to the Black Widow movie because of the Thunderbolts. You got, um, you know, what's his name? Thunderbolt Ross which is going to be leading into the later movies of uh, the MCU with the Thunderbolts. So uh, look out for this book. This is a great spec book. Um, so I picked that up. This book I got for five bucks. Um, nothing really significant about it. I just thought this was a cool cover. This is uh, Superman issue number 123. It is a glow in a dark cover. Maybe that's why I picked it up. It's those little fun 90s gimmick covers. It's uh, the electric Superman. I don't know. Electric blue Superman. But uh, nice little cover. Next book. I like this character a lot. Um, I think this character has some future in the MCU. Um, this is X-Men from the original Un you know, Uncanny X-Men issue number 283. This is your first full appearance of Bishop. Pick this up for five bucks. This is a great book to get in on for 10 bucks or less. Um, it does have some weird like printing cutoff there where the uncanny on there is, <laughs> you can tell it was just like on the press just cut off. So it's a little uh, printing error press there, which is pretty funny. But um, this is a great book, you know, uh, whenever you find these, just pick them up, for, you know, 10 bucks or less. And uh, let's see. Is that the last book I have? I don't, I don't think that's it. Yeah. So that's it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I had, a, I had a good time uh, showing the, uh, the cool books I picked up recently and obviously unboxing the uh, beer of the month. So uh, stay around. I'm going to, let's see, what am I going to do?